I hope you all have registered for Cisco as well as Flipkart's hiring challenge for 2024 and 2025 batches. But now I am here with a new challenge by Amazon that is known as Code Elevate. So you need to check out what Code Elevate is, how can you participate, what is the general pattern of Amazon, what is the CTC and breakup that they offer to freshers when they hire for internships as well as full-time roles. So all of these details we are going to discuss in this video along with that, how can you participate in Code Elevate, what is the last date and how can you register for the same. Make sure you watch this video till the end. If you are new to this channel, a special challenge is going to come up very very soon. So make sure you stay Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel if you are new. Now let's check out what code elevate is. How can you participate? The like target of this video is 1500 likes. Make sure you do like this video for more such amazing content coming ahead. So code elevate is a competition that is organized by Amazon in partnership with Coursera where you will be participating in an online test. Once you give that online test, they'll shortlist some of those people and you will be given some courses, some modules to complete that will help you prepare better for your interviews. Once you complete those modules, you will be given one more assignment and on the basis of those assignments, you will be getting many perks and benefits. So let's just have a look on how it is and how can you participate. So you can check this is in a competition code Elevate by Amazon in partnership with Coursera where you uh, students who are graduating in 2024 and 2025 can participate. You can be either from a BTEC degree or an MTech degree or a dual degree. You are eligible. Third is you should either be registered on Amazon Wow's website or you should be registered on Coursera's learner who, learners who are a part of Coursera for campus. So both ways you can register. So register and pre-assignment. So what the first step is you will be given one pre-assignment for which you need to register till 6th of July. That's the last day to register. Results will be declared on 12th. After that, those who qualify, you will be given some modules to try, some modules to learn. And once you have done that, there will be post assignments in the month of August. And final results will be declared in August 2023. So what are the benefits, right? Those who are, have highest score in the pre-assignment would be getting exclusive Amazon WOW sessions and uh, mentoring with senior leaders at Amazon. Then if you have a cutoff score, like if you even meet the cutoff score in the pre-assessment, what you'll be getting code elevate with a set of curated courses to learn software development competencies and certificates of course completion from universities like Duke University, University of Colorado Boulder. And if you have done well in the post assignment, you'll be getting a certificate of completion from Amazon Wow plus top three students will be getting one on one mentoring session from a senior leader at Amazon. So this is the curriculum. This is the program that you should check for. Also, if you are a female undergraduate and you wish to participate in all of these Amazon's campaigns, Amazon's internship program, Amazon's final hiring program this amazon wow platform is live you can go and register on this amazon wow platform whenever there's an internship opportunity or whenever they'll be hiring for full-time roles you will be given preference over other candidates and you'll get to know about these hiring updates and everything about amazon in your inbox from them right so this is a platform you should go and check this platform in which all women students across engineering campuses are eligible you should be pursuing a four years b uh, b e b tech m c a m e m tech or a five years dual degree course. So they have been conducting a lot of sessions. Some of the sessions which have already been conducted, their recordings are available. You can check that also. Right along with that, some new events are coming up in July. Code yourself, introduction to programming, exploring future opportunities in tech engineering and online assessment practice session. So you should participate in all of this. After you complete all this, there would, if Amazon plans to hire, then you will be sent an online assessment link from them and you can participate. Also, they are coming up with Amazon uh, Women in Technology Conference 2023. Here also, you will get multiple hiring opportunities. So it's better to register on this 2024, 2025 female graduates, particularly you can go and check out on this particular uh, platform as well. So they have mentioned about previous alumni. They have talked about opportunities that are available, like which kind of roles do they hire for SD quality assurance. STT support engineer, system development programmer, analyst, and data engineer. These are the roads, uh, these are the uh, particular roles that Amazon hires for. Make sure you do check that out as well. Also, apart from this, if you're a freshman and you're looking forward to get hired by multiple different startups through one single test, so here's a particular opportunity that you should not miss. This is something known as Mega Jobathon by Geeks for Geeks, in which 
30 plus startups are hiring simultaneously. So let's go and check out what this hiring opportunity is, what exactly you need to do and how can you participate. So the test for this is going to be conducted on 5th of July from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. There would be three DSA problems for 100 marks and 15 MCQs based upon programming logic, based upon CS fundamentals. So this is the overall test pattern and the test difficulty level would be from medium to hard. Make sure you do prepare well and give this test. Also, if you have not yet prepared, you can give this test as a practice test because you will be getting an exposure on how these tests are conducted. So you can see uh, a lot of companies are hiring key software in corporations, Skyarc, App Successor Media, Set Source Technologies. So all of these companies are hiring. You click on this uh, software engineer, you will be seeing which particular profile they're hiring for, whether they're hiring for internships, whether they're hiring for full-time roles and you can participate. So this is the overall contest. You should definitely participate with over 200 candidates they have already placed more than 200 candidates through mega jobathon and this is this can be your chance for the same so make sure you do check it out also link for mega jobathon is also there in the description now let's move on to the video so if you're someone who is watching this for the very first time make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe to this channel let's keep the like target of this video as 1500 likes so that more and more people can know about such opportunities and we can help everyone so this online assessment for internship, let's say if you're a second year student and you're looking out for an SD internship at Amazon, the online test will be having four different parts. So the first part is going to be an debugging section. There'll be seven questions based upon debugging. You will have questions in which you need to find out the error in a code snippet and you need to tell. So it can be an error also. It can be uh, some uh, mistake of syntax also. So you need to identify and you need to tell. So it's a very simple round. If you have like practiced very basic coding, you know, basic fundamentals of coding, you will be able to ace this round. After this, there's a round known as aptitude round for interns in which you'll be getting around 24 to 25 questions. And it's also a very easy round if somebody is good at uh, maths, so you can solve it very, very quickly. Next round is you don't need to specifically prepare for first and second round. Third round is basically a coding round in which you'll be getting two questions and these will be statement uh, questions like you'll be given some scenario. Let's say Amazon is doing this and this Amazon Fresh is delivering orders and you, there's a statement that is framed. So you will need to find out which data structure to use, how to solve that problem. So the level of questions is I would say medium level lead code questions, not very tough, not very easy. So it's a medium level lead code questions. You need to spend some time to understand and think. But overall, I would say the uh, level of the test is easy to medium not very tough after that there's a leadership principles round that in which you'll be asked some mcqs around 50 mcqs based upon your general thinking whether you like to wear a watch or not whether you like to uh, wake up early or not so th this is basically to test your personality so this is going to be the online assessment once you clear this you will be invited for interviews for full-time roles in some cases you will see that they don't take this uh, four parts of a test you will have only data structural algorithms test that is mandatory after this, there are interviews for internship. Like if they are going through Amazon, wow, you might have either a single round of interviews or at max two rounds of interviews, single round of interviews. It will be a coding round in which you'll be asked two data success problems to be solved in 45 minutes. And that's it. Once you clear this round, you get a chance to do an internship at Amazon. Else there can be second round hiring manager round. It will be a generalized round in which you might be asked about data success algorithms, might be asked about your resume, might be asked about your project. So might be asked about leadership principles. So what are leadership principles? There are 16 leadership principles of Amazon. I'll link, I'll give the link to these leadership principles in the description. You can go through these and you need to align your answers based upon these leadership principles, how you will be depicting these leadership principles in the type of work that you will do at Amazon. This is something that should be there in your answers, right? So this is very, very important. After that, for full-time role, there are two technical interviews, one hiring manager round, two technical interviews, again, in the same format, 45 minutes, two questions, two data structure algorithm questions. In most cases, some of the interviews might ask you questions related to computer science fundamentals as well, but majorly major focus is on DSA. After this, there's one hiring manager round. It's also a generalized round. It can be based upon anything, any topic, but more of you should prepare, prepare for leadership principles in the final or the third round. What are the resources that you should prepare? There are a lot of resources like major focus. If I talk about in Amazon interviews is data structure algorithm. If you're good at DSA, you're good to go with the entire process, starting from the online assessment to the final interviews. Second, thorough with the leadership principles for some rounds, you should know what all these leadership principles mean and how can you frame up answers, pick some uh, things that you've done in your college life, done in your projects, done in some hackathons and how you can 
relate those things to the answer that you are giving so this is something that you should priorly work upon before uh, moving to the interviews next is time management time management is also very necessary because uh, if you'll spend a lot of time in one single question in the interview right then in 45 minutes only a single question will be done so that's a negative point you need to solve two questions in 45 minutes that's the minimum necessity for getting into the next round so make sure you manage your time well don't give too much time to one single question if you know the question uh, uh, take some time to explain the approach and understand what the interviewer is asking then only like give it the approach then move to the next question don't waste a lot of time on one single question right so this is a must apply opportunity for all female candidates who will be graduating in 2025 or 2024 and they're looking out for roles in amazon make sure you do it in these webinars you get to know about amazon you'll get you'll have more interest in becoming a software engineer so this is something that i wanted to inform through this particular challenge i hope you understood the entire process of Amazon more and if you want to prepare about it more you can join the telegram group where I might share some resources that will be able to help you for Amazon more also if there's any update about tests or any update about interviews I'll keep on sharing in that telegram group make sure you do join that telegram group and do let me know in the comment section if you have watched this video till the end this will motivate me to make more such amazing videos for you thank you so much everyone all the best good luck